and I also want to say, you know, we hear all this about the immigration debate. You hear the immigration debate of go back home. You know, in this case, Jorge Ramos, most may, some may know you, may who he is. He is a pop star in the community because he's always shedding light on untruths. But you, we hear these, this really terrible rhetoric of anchor babies, the need to assimilate, repealing the 14th Amendment, the idea that the Voting Rights Act was that came forward was the Shelby, uh, Shelby against Eric Holder basically cleaned out, the, gutted the Voting Rights Act. And when you start making all these connections, what folks don't realize that Shelby County was the fifth largest county of American Latino growth. With, when it, that was gutted, seven states that if you follow, if you follow the numbers were all the largest states of American Latino growth. All of these things are connected. The immigration debate, yes, it's about the 11 million people that are living in our shadows, but I argue it's more about their families, the American families that are missed. Because when you're talking about loaded words, again, such as anchor babies, they're not any different than tar babies. When you're talking about go back to Univision, it's not different than saying, go back to Africa. When we're talking about repealing the Voting Rights Act, that was exactly the same thing that was attempted with women first, and second with African Americans, and now with American Latinos. And part of it is our youth. And that's why it's incumbent on every single person in this room to start figuring out how do we transfer massive amounts of knowledge to the youth. And I think that's what you're trying to do here today. But it's also because our story has been missing. Right now in Texas, Colorado, Arizona, the thin piece of history of American Latinos is being scrubbed. So if you encounter a young Latina and she doesn't know her history, it's not her fault. We rarely appear in the history books, even though for some of us, the border crossed us. When we talk about the issues of pay equity, we oftentimes hear 70 cents on the dollar. American Latinas, it's 55 cents on the dollar. There's a lot of work to do, and it's coming on all of us to be able to do it together.